Well, in this video, I'm going to share you old-fashioned cassette's history and how it works. The cassette tape was one of the first technologies that allowed us to share music and recordings on a much wider scale. Today, we may think of cassette tapes as retro and vintage artifacts from funkier, groovier days. But this wonderful invention helped society progress to some of the best technologies that have ever come into existence. So let's give it up for the cassette tape. History The cassette tape, or compact cassette, was first developed by the company Philips in 1962 in Belgium by Lou Adams. Philips released the invention to Europe at the Berlin Radio Show on August 30, 1963. The invention was released in the United States in November of next year. Up until then, listening to music was largely vinyl-based and not exactly on-the-go friendly. The cassette tape made it easy and convenient to take your favorite music with you. The compact cassette holds two small spools inside its plastic exterior. These spools wind the magnetic coated film and pass it from one side to the other. This magnetic film is where the audio content is stored and can be recorded on a cassette tape. How cassette tape work? Magnetic recording is a backbone technology of the electronic age. It is a fundamental way for permanently storing information. In the audio realm, magnetic tape in the form of compact cassettes is a popular way of distributing music. People either buy tapes pre-recorded with material or make their own tapes from CDs. In the video realm, videotape is used widely both in the broadcast industry and at home to store material for later viewing on VCRs. In the computer realm, magnetic recording is used on floppy disks, hard disks, and magnetic tape as the main method for data storage. In this video, we will look at magnetic recording. We'll focus on cassette tapes and tape recorders, but the same technology applies to any form of magnetic recording. You will learn that the reason why magnetic recording is so popular because it is an easy and inexpensive technology with good medium-term 10 to 20 years storage characteristics. There are two parts to any audio magnetic recording system. The recorder itself, which also acts as the playback device, the tape itself is actually very simple. It consists of a thin plastic base material, and bonded to this base is a coating of ferric oxide powder. The oxide is normally mixed with a binder to attach it to the plastic, and it also includes some sort of dry lubricant to avoid wearing out the recorder. Iron oxide FIO is the red rust we commonly see. Ferric oxide FIO is another oxide of iron. Magamite or gamma ferric oxide are common names for the substance. This oxide is a ferromagnetic material, meaning that if you expose it to a magnetic field, it is permanently magnetized by the field. That ability gives magnetic tape two of its most appealing features. You can record anything you want instantly, and the tape will remember what you recorded for playback at any time. You can erase the tape and record something else on it anytime you like. These two features are what make tapes and discs so popular they are instant and they are easily changed. Audio tapes have gone through several format changes over the years. The original format was not tape at all, but actually was a thin steel wire. The wire recorder was invented in 1900 by Waldemar Paulsen. German engineers perfected the first tape recorders using oxide tapes in the 1930s. Tapes originally appeared in a reel-to-reel -reel format. See this page for a picture of an early reel-to-reel -reel recorder. Reel-to-reel -reel tapes were common until the compact cassette or cassette tape took hold of the market. The cassette was patented in 1964 and eventually beat out tape track tapes and reel-to-reel -to, -reel to become the dominant tape format in the audio industry. If you look inside a compact cassette, you will find that it is a fairly simple device. There are two spools and the long piece of tape, two rollers, and two halves of a plastic outer shell with various holes and cutouts to hook the cassette into the drive. There is also a small felt pad that acts as a backstop for the record playback head in the tape player. In a 90-minute cassette, the tape is 443 feet 135 meters long. That wraps up the video. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay notified about our uploads. I'll see you next time. Till then, peace out.